uh, folks, you you know we always do a film clip. Well, here's the film. Okay. There, there's one. I have a technical problem this week. I, I didn't get the film onto the DVD. Now it's not easy to put all that on a DVD either. Yeah. So I'm going to string it out. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to run it by the canal. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, what we have is Mr. Trier was gracious enough. He's been putting together um, and working on how to buy a car, sell a car, all the different things that we're doing. So we were going to do this in two segments tonight, and then we'll have another segment coming up, and the next time we'll have the pictures and all that to it. Right, doing all so. that selling the car the next time. But uh, you're not buying the car. The incidentally, time. do you know Bill? No, you well, met, him met him tonight. I met him. I right. Bill him Trier is <laughs> is the top appraisal guy in the area. He'll give you, he he researches everything, tells you exactly what the car is worth, what it should sell for, you know, all that kind of stuff, and um, very very important to uh, the car guys. The values always come out well, but just make sure I do them before Lance gets his hands on the car. Oh, okay. Because yeah. then he sort of <laughs> depreciates. Yeah. No one can de devalue a car faster than me. You see, they're not going to let me alone, Billy, are they? They're not going to let me alone. I'm telling you. All right. What, you got to work for it. What tips do you have for the people? Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm going to use a little bit of cheat sheets tonight because President Obama borrowed our prompter again. <laughs> uh, you know, if you, if, if, if you want to sell a car, there are certain things that you, basic things you do for it, and it's, it's very easy to do. It's... Uh, the first thing you want to make sure of is that you prepare yourself and your car because you want to have some passion and enthusiasm when you sell a car. If, you know, if you're not a salesperson type, you can sell your car. And with some just basic things, uh, it's easy to learn how to do that. Some of you already know how to do that. But uh, you want to bring your knowledge up to date about your car. You, you want to be sure you know um, things beyond just the make and the model and the year and the body style, but some specific uh, data things about the car. It makes it a lot easier when you're dealing with your uh, uh, seller, so or your buyer. So if you uh, look these things up, it's very easy. But you don't have to go out and buy expensive books for this. Mm -hmm. You can go right onto the internet. You got a '56 Ford. You just put in '56 Ford in the search engine and put in uh, specifications or data, and you'd be surprised. The websites will come up free of charge. Just pull them up, and you you'll get all the information you need. Make yourself a little bit more knowledgeable about your car because then you can answer the questions when your buyer's asking you and it makes it a lot easier to sell it. The more detailed information you have, the better you are. Um, and then the next thing is that I get asked so often is, you know, how, how do I find out what my car's worth? Uh, everybody's kind of got an idea, but they're not really sure what to ask. And that's not hard to do either because, again, you can go to the Internet and, and uh, just put in uh, nadavalues.com, n-a-d-a-values.com, and that will bring you to the NADA site, and then they'll walk you right through it, how to get to your car, your make, your model, and so forth, so you can get the different categories of and values. You mentioned NADA. I mean, I, I've heard blue book, red book, brown mm -hmm. book, every color book in the world for the value of a car. And I know that when you appraise, you told me you have a wide spectrum of things that you look at mm -hmm. and different market reports and stuff. So <clears throat> you mentioned NADA. Do you feel that's kind of like the middle of the road? NADA's, NADA's the most popular one now. It does the best job probably right now of bringing up that kind of information that's uh, accumulated from dealer sales, uh, auctions, and so forth. And, and it's updated all the time. It's not in print, or most books in print are out of date pretty quick. Right. Because these things change all By the time. By the time they print them, the statistics. Right. So uh, that's one way you can get some values on cars that are sold. And then you can also go into your uh, websites for Bear Jackson, uh, make them auctions. You can go into the uh, photo uh, Cruise, and yeah, you know, a lot of them, and look up the archives, your auction archives, Just a plug for and or time. results. And you can get a lot of information out of that. So mm -hmm. uh, that makes it uh, a lot better, you know, to, to get some information there on what cars are selling for. And then also go into uh, some publications of uh, what people are asking for cars. And there's a difference between your asking prices and, of course, your sales prices. And asking are usually always going to be higher because, you know, we sell, we advertise a car, okay, we want to get so much for a car, and then people come and negotiate with you, and the price comes out a little bit, and you sell it. So there's a little space difference there, or sometimes a lot of space difference there, depending on what you're selling. But if you... Uh, you go to uh, Keels and Wheels, and you go to Hemmings. Uh, of course, we have our 
our sponsor. Yes. Keels and Wheels. That Look, guy. You can find Very cars in there that people are asking prices for and get a comparable. You can also get Hemmings Motor News at any of your uh, bookstores. And that's a, a good place to uh, pick up some ideas of what people are asking that's for cars. And also the Auto Trader, um, the cla called Classic Cars. Uh, and this one you can pick up at the gas stations or convenience stores. And, and uh, that gives you another good idea for uh, uh, values on cars. Uh, well, not values so much, but the asking prices. So you can kind of get an idea of, well, my high, my low for my car and so forth. So that gives you a little bit of knowledge of how to kind of find out where you're at with the, with the, uh, the values. Um, and then you could also go on the internet and in a search engine, in a search box, just put in again your car, 56 Chevy, and put for sale. Don't put model or the convertible or whatever, just put 56 Chevy for sale. You'll come up with a whole ton of listings mm -hmm. and you'll find things in there that will let you pull them up and see what people are actually asking for the cars on the internet. All is free, free information, you know. So this is a lot of ways where you can find out kind of yourself what you should be asking for your car. When you, when you get to the uh, figure, you kind of feel like you were going to be at for your bottom line. Then uh, put about 25% of that value back on top of that price. Increase it about 25% more to give you yourself your, your uh, margin there where you can use for negotiating and so forth. Mm -hmm. Because the, the last thing you want to do is put in a price and put firm. You just kill most all your buyers. Uh -huh. The people do not like to answer ads and say firm price. People like to have it, it's uh, They right. all like to have it's human nature. Yeah. Right. And also, best offer is not the best thing to put in. Be, for the fact that somebody doesn't want to drive 100 miles to look at your car today, and then, okay, they, you give them an offer, and then they got to wait three or four weeks while you're getting other offers. They're, they're going to be off into the sunset. And once that guy pulls out of your driveway, it's going to be 10 times as hard to get them back in to get again. Back. Yeah. So put negotiable, We've put negotiable after your price, and that's a little different flavor there. That means that if you come and talk to them, you're ready to sell a car then. Yeah. Work out a price, then go and home I'm going to do some negotiation right now, Herb. Bill, <laughs> we're going to have to tell them a little bit about how to uh, check the title and all that stuff and make the transaction right after we hear a word from our sponsors, Sounds like good. Competitive <laughs> Edge. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Don't go away. Jackal. Junior's <laughs> Trim Shop in Venice. Our award-winning interiors have been applauded locally and nationally. Juniors will repair or replace seat covers, carpet, door panels, and both vinyl and convertible tops. Our experts have more than 40 years of experience and specialize in original, antique, and custom automobiles, boats, and aircraft. For quality craftsmanship at a reasonable price, call Juniors today, 493-1840. That's 493-1840. Now that was fun stuff. Friendship Hearing Aid Centers with offices in Venice, Inglewood, and now Sarasota offer free comprehensive hearing tests and video ear inspection. Friendship Hearing offers the best guaranteed prices on top quality hearing aids. 100% digital hearing aids programmable by the computer start at only $8.99. Friendship Hearing is where service, quality, and price come together. Friendship Hearing Aid of Venice, Inglewood, and Sarasota, serving the Gulf Coast since 1992. Whether it's new or used, antique or special interest, whether it's a car, truck, boat, or specialty item, find it fast, find it free, every week at Keels and Wheels Magazine. With hundreds of locations in Manatee and Sarasota, if you need to sell it, put it where thousands of people will see it. Put it in Keels and Wheels Magazine, serving Southwest Florida for over 22 years. With the largest and widest circulation of any magazine of its type, where buyers look first and where sellers ought to be. Call us today, Keels and Wheels. It's your photo advertising source, because it works. It really works. Hi folks, this is Lance. I want to tell you about my friends Casey and Chris over at Casey's Classic Cars in Bradenton. Casey's Classics turns out some of the most beautiful restorations I've ever seen. His own inventory of muscle and classic cars would make even Jay 